we got a stamped concrete patio we're pouring out behind this house. We were able to get the concrete truck out there, so that makes it, that's a big bonus. Usually that doesn't happen. We'll either be power buggy in something like this or even pumping something like this, but lawn was good and hard. The guys that did the gravel work, they kind of tore it up a little bit already. So we got things back and right out here. It makes it real easy. Probably bring it up a couple slumps. I was nervous. Yeah. I was like, you can't see it in there. No. It's supposed to be dry today, but it is quite overcast. I mean, that's not bad for stamping, as long as it does stay dry, and they're not wrong about the forecast. Because we got a roof line that pitches right on that thing. That would be kind of a bummer to have the roof have a shower right after we get done pouring or something and get all these big raindrops on it. not anticipating that happening so let's hope everything goes well this is really for us you know 21 by 15 is pretty easy we don't want to turn it into something easy that's we don't want to make something easy hard it's not why we do things give it 10 more Can leave that lock for a minute? Alright, I'll hold the shoot for a minute. When do you want to watch that rebar? It's real easy, Matt. I'll hang on to it for a minute. Come right down to the corner for a minute, Harvey. Up a little bit. Good. Yeah. Back down this way, Dan, for a minute. Good, Matt. Pull your head a little bit. between the pad and the foundation. It's just an isolation joint. We want to break this from the house in case one moves and one doesn't. Oh, okay. It doesn't chip that edge up. Yeah. So it isolates it. Pretty good chance the house ain't moving. Yeah. But the pad, years, yeah. the pad could. Yeah. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Like yeah, go ahead.
scrape that down, I think, for a minute. Yeah. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, I'll go up and get it. Funny, Matt. Funny, yeah. You're gonna go out the end of the driveway, you think, or? That's what I was gonna ask. I think so. Okay. Yeah. He might even have a hose here we could borrow, I don't know. You got a hose out front? Okay. We're good then, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Al. Oh. I'm so jealous. Hmm. Not very long, probably less than an hour. Yeah. To get on it and we'll get on it, we'll we'll float that out. Probably use a funny float too. And then we got liquid release we're using with a little bit of color in it. And then staff stamping. So it won't be long, it's setting up pretty good. It's pretty warm out today. I would say 20, 30 minutes. We'll probably get back to work here. So we'll see you in a minute. Some of that in there. Well, that's yeah. I brought that light gray to give it a contrast. I'd put a little bit in. Try it. Yeah, that really takes those bull pull marks out really nice. Brings up a nice taste to the surface. And be just right for stamping. After he, we'll have to mag that, that edger mark out. Yep, right behind him. Yep. And then, if that leaves a lot, just if you're gonna mag right after him, just make it random. Okay. You know, no, no Don't line. You see how I went over your mag line? Yep. And I blended it right in. Yep. That's what we want. Okay. And we're all done. I'm gonna go do that edge. Yep.
How is it? Is this spray good? I'm gonna do it right now. Okay. You wanna grab a stamp? Well, I think we can get going up here. Gotta pump her up. You might have to, I don't know about you guys, you might have to wear those stupid shoes to start. Okay. I'll check it when I get on it. Hopefully this works good, huh? If we start like that, I think we're good. Yeah. That one right there for a second. How's it feel? Good no, to walk feels out? good for me. <coughs> Hobby says he's 220. What are you, Darren? Oh, I'm right about 220. Yeah. That means I gotta gain some weight, huh? <laughs> well, Jim said he's gonna bring you those steaks. <laughs> 215 to 220 is usually what I'm at. Depends on what time of year it is. <sighs> I eat plenty of steak, Javi. I guess I gotta eat more potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need any potato. I don't. Occasionally I'll cut a little sweet potato in half. I I'll, like sweet potatoes. I'll have that. Yeah. How are we right there? Are we okay right there? With yep. Really? There's, there's spray all the way up to there. She's a little soft. I don't know. Close. I mean, I, I sort of felt it floppier. But... Yeah. <sighs> You want to make sure those lines all line up. We don't want it to run. Then we start getting in trouble. We want to make sure the notches are all going the same way. No matter how we lay these down, it's all always got to go the same way. They don't teach you this in college. <laughs> no. I went to one year of tech school, yeah. thinking I was gonna do something with electronics. Learned all about how to build computers, how to program, how to do all this stuff, thinking <laughs> I was wasting my time. I was, you know, yeah. <laughs> how to do, I could do uh, binary math, I mean DOS. Oh, wow. I could do everything. I was like, no, you know what? This, this is never going to catch on. <laughs> what year was that? 84. 84. Yeah. 84, I was working in a startup that was building high-end workstations. Yeah? Yep. <laughs> all a computer. I got bought by HP. And I worked for HP for a number of years. Went to another startup, and then I got bought by Cisco. <laughs> And then Cisco laid me off in 2019 and I retired. Yeah. So. That looks nice. Can't use a roller with those instead of just locking on them? Uh, we don't typically use a roller, no. We do have some tampers in the back if yeah. it starts to firm up. Oh, you can tamp it. We yeah. tamp it. We usually start out like this always. If you have to start out tamping, probably just a little, get on it a little bit late, you know. Yeah. But you it is. be able to tell by the field. It's now. definitely a timing thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. Most people starting out would probably say, ooh, that's way too soft. Yeah. These things are pretty thick, though. They, They're they, pretty thick, and you're going across a wide area. It's yeah. Like the steps. Yeah. <laughs> Stamp dance. I'm gonna have my pedometer on today. With some music to go along. <laughs> he like usually has his music. Yeah, on. I have my phone on me. Now you know. You're watching that other video when it was 100 degrees out. 
how fast I was working that day oh, yeah. compared to the three of us here. Oh yeah, I was watching you and I go, they are working fast. I, I, I'd be lying if I said I didn't have a thought go through my mind as I might not make it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, what do you do? I couldn't give up though. What happens if you don't make it? You know, oh, we, it up and start well, no, it. there's a product we can use where we could go over it with three eighths and stamp that product. I did step on Although I've never had to do that. But is it still concrete or is it? It's a bag concrete mix. Yeah, it's oh. 6,000 PSI. Just, just sand? It's made for that. No, it's a lot more than sand, but it but probably has some sand in it. It's got like polymers and stuff yep. in it. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, can you spray that and I'll roll it yeah, up on it. The, either way, from either side, it doesn't matter. And then give us another whole good part here. Do you want me to hit that one real quick or you got it? I didn't do anything with that one. Okay. We can leave that square. Leave that. You could always saw a pattern in it if you wanted something different. Make sure when you pick these up, you pick them up straight. Don't drag them and it doesn't leave any mark. Looks good. Good texture. No real like puckery marks. Looks like good slate to me. All right, so that's pretty much it for today. We'll just clean the stamps up and get out of here. Tomorrow we come back, we saw cut some joints, strip the forms and we just rinse it, clean that. There'll be some residue left over from the release. The release just evaporates, but it leaves a residue. Get that cleaned off and then just gotta let it dry out. Then we can seal it, hopefully the day after. And then that'll be it, this will be done.